China is developing a new generation of surface-to-air missile defenses, what does seem apparent is that the new weapon is being designed to counter a wide range of threats ranging from aircraft to cruise missiles to ballistic missiles. Indeed, the Chinese engineers working on the new weapon system seem to indicate that the new system will be designed to provide long-range ballistic missile defense among its various functions. Compared with previous generations of air defense missiles, the new generation missile system will have a wider range of targets and be much more technologically sophisticated, taking China into the ranks of just a handful of nations capable of designing and producing such a system. Given the researchers' description of the program, the new weapon system is likely to have a strong ballistic missile defense component. Metaphorically put, the mission of these control systems is to guide a needle to fly 1,000 kilometers to pierce the eye of another needle. The HQ-18 is a highly capable hypersonic air and missile defense system developed by China. Most scholars agree it is directly reverse-engineered from the Russian S-300V system, but relatively little information is publicly known about the differences between the two systems. A modified version of the S-300V system was revealed in 1998, called the S-300VM, or Anti-2500. The Anti-2500 variant has a range of 200 km, a max altitude of 30 km, and can engage 24 targets simultaneously. A typical HQ-18 battery contains between two and six launchers, each of which can hold four missiles. S-300V was originally designed to destroy U.S. tactical ballistic missiles and ISR assets in a late Cold War setting. It has no Western equivalent. Moreover, no FAA-18 variant, nor the Joint Strike Fighter, were designed to penetrate the S-300 VVM's aerial cover. The survivability of the F-35 will not be significantly better than that of legacy combat aircraft, and the US Air Force envisions the F-22 Raptor as the primary aircraft to dispatch an HQ-18. Additional development and production of the HQ-18 will likely replace the HQ-9 for long-range missile defense.